So here we are today with Sarah, who is the program director for, well, what's the name of the organization? Active Minds. Active Minds. Okay, I'm going to move the camera close to you because the speaker okay. is very, there's a lot of, uh, your voice won't get picked up. And okay. If you don't mind speaking like super loud, like okay. shouting almost. Okay. Okay, so Sarah, can you tell us something about what are all these these bags all over the, the ground here? Active Minds is a national organization, and this is our program called Send Silence Packing, and we have 1,100 backpacks representing the 1,100 college students that die by suicide each year on college campuses. So each of these backpacks represents a student, um, and they were all donated in honor of loved ones. 1,100 students every year in the United States commit suicide? Yep, die oh by my. suicide on college oh campuses. It's the second leading cause of death among college students. Oh my goodness. Is there any typical uh, reason? Do people leave notes or anything? The great majority of people who die by suicide are dealing with a serious mental health disorder and they haven't been able to get the help that they need. And so they're, they're like very depressed or something? Depressed. All the sort of a full range of um, mental health disorders that people may be facing, whether it's depression or anxiety or bipolar disorder, schizophrenia. Um, but the 90% the of people who die by suicide are dealing with a mental health disorder and they haven't yet been able to receive the care that they need um, and to find the treatment that we know is out there and available and can work. So the on-campus re resources are not adequate to help people, students with mental disorders? There's actually many very valuable resources on campus, but more often the issue is that these students haven't been able to be connected to it yet. We know that stigma sometimes gets in the way. Stigma, in other words, they're ashamed. Students ashamed are ashamed to, seek to, help. to Or go people don't them. know that there's resources out huh. there because their friends and their colleagues and as a community, we're not talking about these issues enough. Well, most of our viewers are international students. Has that, to your knowledge, are there any international students who also come to college in the States and feel lonesome or depressed? Absolutely. We know that there's so many different stressors that face college students um, when they're on campus, especially when they're first arriving. And for all students, they're often away, times away from home for the first time. Um, but we know that international students face particular stress. Um, they're that much further from home. Um, it may be a different culture, a different community, a different environment um, for learning in. Uh, so there's particular stress that can be faced, and it's that much more important um, to be taking care of your mental health. So let's suppose you have a, a friend, an international student, who is obviously feeling uh, suicidal or extremely depressed. What would you advise him or her to do? The most, thing, most important thing to know is to never be afraid to speak up about it. Uh, and to directly ask them, are they considering suicide? Uh, and to call the National Suicide Prevention Hotline. It's 1-800-273-TALK. It's a resource that's available to anyone, anywhere. And they will collect, connect you to local mental health resources. Um, but if someone's seriously thinking about suicide, you don't want to leave them alone. You want to stay with them. And you want to never be afraid to speak up uh, and to reach out for help. Um, because it can really be saving lives. And if you, and you shouldn't be afraid to ask your friend, are you thinking right. about killing yourself? Yes, absolutely. And they should call 1-800-273-TALK. T-A-L-K. Yep. Sarah, thank you so much. Absolutely. I thank think you. you. You're doing excellent work. Thanks. Thank you.